At noon now at 5 o'clock, with students going back to school, we're hearing from ABC's chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, about what parents need to do to make sure everything works out. Channel 2 anchor Wendy Corona here now. And Wendy, such an important topic. Well, George, we've been keeping track of the school districts headed back to class virtually and in person. And with this being like no other school year, Dr. Jen Ashton told me there are two factors here. There's the virus factor, then there's the human factor, and the human factor is the only one we can control right now. The name of the game is flexibility and patience. ABC News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton said this should be the theme as we enter a new school year, whether in person or with virtual learning, and added. It's not if there will be cases, it's when and how many, how often, how quickly we're seeing those cases go up, and then most importantly, what steps will be taken to respond to that. Cartersville City Schools return to both in-person and virtual learning Tuesday. Data collected by Alpharetta-based IPC Global shows the 21-day trend in Bartow County with a drop of 1.2 cases a day and about six new cases a day. Earlier this month, that number was as high as 60. There are more than 2,000 total cases in the county. As if coronavirus concerns are not enough for families to deal with now, in the fall, there is also the flu parents need to have on their radar. Dr. Ashton said early data in the Southern Hemisphere shows a dramatic reduction in flu rates. It's encouraging, and coronavirus may be helping that. Largely, the theory is because we're staying away from others, we're covering our faces with masks, we're keeping our hands clean. And the CDC has said everyone six months and older should get a flu vaccine because until there's a coronavirus vaccine, let's work to control what we can. As for the 23 schools in Bartow County, IPC Global's COVID tracker shows them all in the green. You can check out where you live on that COVID tracker. We've put a link for you on WSBTV.com under the Coronavirus and Schools tab. For now, live in the newsroom, Wendy Corona, Channel 2 Action News. Two dozen huge wildfires burning out west. So now we're